Yep. Welcome back to BT. We're going four wide on nice. the morning TV show scandal that's rocking morning TV. Or afternoon uh, TV. Or afternoon TV. <laughs> Good morning, America. Anchor update. This is the big one. So, and, and Nick, you guys talked about this like nine times last week, right? <laughs> I, was, for, I had to take a couple days. I had the sniffles. So for those who, who haven't been brought up to speed, TJ Holmes and Amy Robach are in a relationship. The problem is they have other relationships, i.e. marriages, and they co-host the same show on ABC. So last week it broke that this was going on. And the main headline that we want to update here, well, there's two things. One, Robin Roberts, one of the most respected people in television, confronted them and said, cut it out. TJ went to the exec saying it was not true. So they denied this relationship for a while. And the crazy part of this story is ABC are continuing to make TJ and Amy do the show together in the afternoons. This is how Friday's show started. You can cut the awkwardness with a knife. Hey there, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome <laughs> to Jim A3. What you need to know on this Friday. You know, it's too bad it's Friday. Is it? It's been a great week. Just want this one to keep going and going and going. Um, Just enjoy it. Speak for yourself. Take it all in. I am very excited about the weekend. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure everyone else is, too. Uh, we all love our Fridays around here. <laughs> Yikes. Speak for yourself was the quote from Amy. All right, Frank, I'm going to start with you. Is this a story or not? Because part of me thinks this is a story when you're co-hosting the same show on a major U.S. network. So they're out of their marriages now. Isn't that correct? Uh, I would. That's a safe assumption. At this yes. Point? Yes. Yeah. You know what? This this happens in workplaces a lot. So this is a similar story when people have problems in their relationships that they then all of a sudden start being close to somebody that they work with and or uh, even just a, some friends. And so things evolve over time. You know, is it a story because they're on TV? It is a story because they're on television. But this happens so often. I just feel sorry for everybody involved, even their ex-spouses as well. They're involved in this very public story, which really is a private matter. It is, but when video like this circulates, it's so not oh. a private matter anymore. FISA one in your well, opinion. you don't know how that video is. You you don't know how the video was taken either. You don't know if somebody you know they didn't know that the video was oh, there. Oh, it looked like oh, Frank, well. I so can tell you right so now many other how levels it was taken. To this. I can tell you right now, <laughs> some guy at the end of the bar was looking at his phone and filming, and, and those two have no idea what's going or on. Or some private investigator. Well, somebody you was hired. But, but you don't, you don't know have somebody to was be. An, you don't too. have to be an old school private investigator to have an iPhone and just look like you're sifting through it at the other end of the bar and just, just nab anyone so, you see fit. So, Sid, Sid, you have no privacy? So you have no, no privacy I'm not at saying that. time? No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is I'm surprised that two people who wanted to keep something like that a secret weren't really keeping it a secret. But I'm with you, Frank. It happens a lot. It does happen Unless a lot. Unless they were out of their marriage at that point. I don't think yeah, they maybe were on out a professional of their level, it was a secret. Maybe on a private was. I don't think yeah. they were out of their were marriage at that, at that time. Point. We don't know, right? No, we don't know. But the, the, the backlash we're hearing uh, from behind the scenes would indicate they weren't out of their marriages at that point. Faiza, is this a story to you? I think it's a story to a certain extent. If you've been on Twitter and you've been reading what people have been saying, viewers in, in general, specifically I'm talking about, TJ Holmes has said a lot of things in the in the past. You know, he, he was preaching in the case of, and I don't want to bring it up, but I do, uh, Will Smith, for example, talking about what he did was wrong yeah. and kind of passing judgment there. So now you have people calling him out in the, in the same fashion uh, about what he said uh, and, and holding him accountable. That's one. The second thing is, you know, when you're in a position of being a reporter or a journalist, there's some sort of, uh, or there is an expectation of that public trust there. Um, and so I think there's some questions that he will have to respond to. But the sad part is that there are families involved here uh, on a more serious tone. You know, they were laughing in, in that clip there, but there are families involved. And I can't help but think, what life is like behind closed doors for those families who now are at the center of this scandal. Oh, without a doubt, who knows what's going on, JP? Uh, I, I kind of agree with Faiza on, on, on the family thing as well as uh, almost with the, the integrity 
It's like Spider-Man, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. Mm -hmm. And I think relationships like that sometimes happen out of convenience. And it's not that you have your trouble at home. It's just that you spend so much time with somebody that it's easy. And then if right. you get into an actual relationship with that person, then that relationship becomes what your old relationship used to be. And then somebody else of convenience comes on. So TJ just seems like a serial gallus. You know, that's what he <laughs> seems like. Uh, oh. to, go ahead, Frank. You want to jump in? No, you know, it actually, right there, I, my, my phone was kicking in and out. So I, I didn't really hear J JP's comments overall. But it was amazing. at the end of the day, they're two people. I think, yeah, <laughs> JP, you're always amazing. Um, but, the, you know, at the end of the day, it's two people. That something's become very public. And you, there's so many different people that will be affected by this. And they're just human beings at the end of it. Right. True. I, but to, to Fies, I'll, I'll close it with this. To, to Fies's point, I don't need to hear either of them rip on Will Smith. Because at the end of the day, no one's perfect. I think we've established this in life, mm -hmm. yeah. and things happen. But when you're when you're in the chair on ABC, it's a major profile. Okay, it's a major spotlight, and I don't think it's it's a nothing story considering how many eyeballs that show gets and that network gets throughout the day. So it's something executives are having a conversation about. I don't know how they handle it. I don't know if ratings all of a sudden went through the roof. I don't have those numbers in front of me. But it's definitely awkward, and to Frank's point, and FISA and everyone, there are families behind the scenes. Yeah. This, if you took network TV out of this, this is a bad situation. The embarrassment to pile on top of this, it's incredible. So we'll see what ABC does. That was an awkward mm -hmm. look that we showed you earlier, and I don't think it's <laughs> going to continue. All right.